to some fireplaces It's hard to carry on When you love you all alone Now I've swung back down again It's worse than it was before If I had seen such riches I could live away So, good evening, everyone. Um, we're going to have a chat, a brief chat tonight about um, another iconic Arsenal goalkeeper, that being John Lukic. Um, I, I don't think the guy ever actually really got the credit he deserved for what he actually contributed to Arsenal Football Club. Um, he was a really, really decent goalkeeper. And I think he got... Um, Short, um, chipped really in the fact that there, when he joined, he really wasn't given the credit that he he, he deserved. I, that's my opinion. Um, many will disagree with me, but when you actually look at what he achieved back in those pretty dismal days, um, I think he was worth a lot more credit. That he actually actually got, but uh, before we start, we have a quick look in the uh, Warren. Uh, hi, Jez. Hope you're well. I'm very well, mate. Hope you are. Hope you liked the thing that I sent you late last night, and that will be winging its way to you in the next few days, brother. So um, hope you enjoy it. Um, Gav, no flattery. How, mate? How are you, um, Craig? Jez, yeah. I'm, and to you, my friend, um, Warren's team talk. Uh, when you come in, please hit the like button. Yes, people, hit the like button, like and subscribe. If you haven't subbed, sub it does. And likes always help the traction on the channel. The more likes, the more people get to see it. So, um, anyway, let's get into this. We've got a big match tonight. I'm nervous about it. Um, so John Lukic. Born in Chesterfield to um, basically uh, Yugoslavian parents in December 1960. So he's actually a year older than me. Um, he played 276 league and cup games for Arsenal, uh, where he won a Division One Champions medal in 1989-90 um, in that season. And a League Cup medal in 86-87, which is actually quite something because Arsenal really have been pretty crap over the years in the League Cup. And um, that game um, was quite an interesting game, uh, beating Sheffield Wednesday. And um, it was not a great cup final, but... Um, Arsenal did it, and you have to give respect on that. But it, you know, it wasn't a great performance. Um, but anyway, he joined Leeds United. In uh, he joined, sorry, he joined from Leeds United in 1983, having joined Leeds United uh, in the 79-80 season. Um, he was recruited basically as a backup for Pat Jennings. Um, because Pat Jennings was an, uh, we talked about previously, was an absolute iconic goalkeeper who we uh, got from Tottenham Hotspur, which we, as we talked about in the previous show, caused all kinds of waves in North London. Um, it was Keith Birkinshaw's decision, but he came to Arsenal. But it, he now was beginning to come to the end of his days. Um, as I say, he was he was recruited as a backup, 
and uh but he pretty much became first choice keeper towards the end of the 83 84 season and the following season 84 85 he was basically picked ahead of pat jennings and so that was when pat really decided um his time was up and he retired from first class football and returned back to tottenham as backup to their goalkeeper um ray clements now this guy john lukic was a really really nice young man highly respected but um the warmth and the esteem that john received from the highbury faithful was mainly of the unspoke unspoken variety and i think that's very unfair on the fella because um i think he deserved more gratitude than he actually uh, received at arsenal and um and you know i i always thought that he was never treated fairly in, in my personal view um now yeah, he, he did get warmth and esteem um, that John received at Highbury, but um, it was basically when George Graham, who had come in, uh, announced in March 1990 that he was seeking to sign England international David Seaman. Then during several home games, there were chants in praise of this likeable tall young goalkeeper he was a very lanky guy um and on one occasion uh, a group of fans held a protest outside the east stand at highbury in avenue road um which just showed that the some of the fans were not really happy with the way he was being treated and yeah i tend to agree um that that wasn't correct but so this display of loyalty uh was understandable and in no way was a reflection on the even more outstanding merit of his eventual replacement i.e david seaman so john had played a dependable part in lifting two trophies he lifted the litwoods cup in 1987 and the division one trophy two years later at the iconic game that was played at anfield to beat liverpool by two clear goals um which arsenal did they won two nil a game that um i think goes down in arsenal history as one of the greatest achievements personally um to go to Anfield uh, back in time um, then and do that was a major, major thing. I mean, the, the fact that Arsenal at one point was so far ahead of Liverpool after the awful tragedy at uh, Hillsborough in the FA Cup, uh, Liverpool, Nottingham Forest, it was, it was, it was a, you know, horrible, horrible, those people that died the night i think it was 94 95 died in the crush um it, it that was a that was a terrible time in football i remember watching it live and it, and it was like oh wow you know I, I can't imagine i mean i've been in huge crowds you get surges and you, it's not a nice experience uh on the old terraces that we had years and years and years ago so those poor people that was terrible and obviously what happened um then was meant liverpool didn't play for quite a while and understandably but when they came back they very quickly arsenal went for a major dip and liverpool caught up very quickly to the point that we had to go to anfield last game of the season and win by two clear goals um and i've talked about that on a totally separate stream my experiences of that game um 
and uh, it was an amazing, amazing, amazing night. Um, one of the greatest, greatest games that I've ever, ever been to. And I was privileged to be there and um, to witness that was something quite special, I can say. Um, it's probably in my top, I would say my top five experiences of, of any football. Um, anyway, all the while, um, John was basically uh, receiving from you know, public plaudits, but building up a store of much deserved goodwill. I mean, he, you know, he wasn't really talked about that much. He sort of went pretty much under the radar, but he was a decent, decent goalkeeper. And I really think he should have got more credit, but, but he didn't, unfortunately. Um, but before we get to the next bit, we'll just quickly get into the chat. Um, and uh, Bar Gab says, big up, Jez. Uh, not got a clueless on this stuff, but thankful for the education. It's a pleasure, man. I enjoy doing it. They don't, these, these, these uh, history things don't get a great amount of views, but I actually enjoy it. I, lo I love talking about Arsenal. I love talking about my time at Arsenal, my um, history stuff. I enjoy it. Um, it's good fun. Uh, Warren's team tool. Yes, buddy. I can't wait. Cheers. I loved it. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's on its, it will be on its way, mate, next week. No worries about that. Um, and Gavin O'Flattery, uh, Warren, bud, all well here. Looking forward to the game. Hope you're doing well, bud. Yeah, tonight's game. Ooh, nervy. I'm nervy. Uh, Cyborg Ninja, sup, Jez. Uh, good to see you, mate. Hope you're very, very well. And uh, Del Boyd Gunner TV. Everybody go and support Del Boyd Gunners TV. He's a great guy. Does great stuff on his channel. Absolutely love it. Um, usually does a great show on a Friday night. Not sure if that will be tonight because of obviously of the game. But um, and also go and support. Um, sorry, go and support Warren's team tool. This guy deserves a lot, lot, lot more subs. Really does. He does some awesome, awesome content. I don't know how you do it, mate. And your stuff you put up on the screen, I, 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 I could only. Uh, bow in insignificance to how you do it because I don't have a clue how you do it. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's it's good stuff, man. It is good stuff. Um, Bargab, wow. So he won trophies, but not acknowledged. No, he really wasn't, mate. He never really got the acknowledgement that he should have got in in my in my, in my book. Um, that you know, so unfair. I think. Um, and a good, a good evening, Jez, and all the crew. Good evening to you, sir. Hope you're well. Hope you're very well. And uh, Henry Gunnar says, Arsenal better field a strong team tonight. Go big or go home. I, I agree on that one. I totally agree with you. It's the FA Cup, and I love the FA Cup. I love it. Um, it's, to me, one of the most iconic, trophies i've been i've been uh, very lucky in that i've been able to get to quite a few cup final fa cup finals and it's just an, an amazing occasion is it's 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 it so special so i think you know it's it's and the fact we've won it 14 times more than anybody else i think it's um important that we actually go for it whether we will because obviously we're top of the premier league and we are in Europe, whether we have a squad strong enough to actually compete in three fronts, I don't know. But um, I, what I would like to see tonight, I, I, I don't know you guys, put it in the chat. I'd like to see Trossard start tonight. I'd like to Martinelli to have a rest. But I think Martinelli to me looks, he looks a bit jaded. Um, so, yeah, give him a rest and uh, start Trossard. When Trossard came on uh, against Man U, he immediately made, it, in my view, an impact. So I'd, I'd like to see him come on. 
and uh, show him show us what he can do and the fact whether we'll get him will we get casido from brighton will we get him it's a lot of money it's a lot a lot of money will arsenal spend that money and uh we've only got what five days left to the end of the transfer window be interesting to see interesting to see uh warren says thanks so much yes pleasure man all day long uh gunner sj my first time here interesting content jez keep up the great work thank you mate um do you do you have a youtube channel if you do i will shout it out for you mate um or where can we find you on insta or twitter or whatever um uh bargav uh, big up warren's team talk and dale boy gunner tv best sat saturday show and the post arsenal reactions yeah yeah warren's uh saturday afternoon shows i actually love watching them i can sit here and uh just see the work that's going down and warren reports it brilliantly love it absolutely love it um warren's chief i love the tradition the history of the fa cup man with me mate oh, absolutely I, I love it brought up with it it was it was it is well it is what it is you know Carl, you, you remember guys Warren, you remember the uh, how it used to be back in time. You'd have the teams being followed from the hotel. Well, I remember once they were actually on it was on ITV, I think. Big match. Um, they'd have uh, cameras of the players going in for breakfast, getting on the coach. You have helicopters of them driving down to um, Wembley uh, and all that. It was it was a full day. It was a full day. These, these these programs used to start at like nine in the bleeding morning, you know, and it was like awesome, absolutely awesome. And if you were actually going to Wembley, you might be watching um, the game at home, sorry, the, the pre-match build before the game at home, and then you'd be getting ready at like half 11 to leave, to get to Wembley, um, to get in the grounds. And the whole atmosphere was building all the way, all the way as, as the tube was filling up with different fans or Arsenal fans or whoever. The whole atmosphere was building, 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 building. It was, it was oh, amazing, um, unbelievable experience, unbelievable. Uh, but we're going to get back to John Lukic. Um, so Terry Neal. The Arsenal manager at the time uh, signed John for seventy-five thousand pounds from Leeds United in July nineteen eighty-three. Now Leeds United at this point in time were in a bit of a bit of a mess. They were it, it, they had problems, big, 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 big problems. Um, and Terry Neal signed uh, John Lukic. He was twenty-two, so he's a young man. But he saw him as an able long-term successor to Pat, Pat Jennings. So John Lukic worked off the shoulder with Pat Jennings, who, let's put it right, was a very established, very good goalkeeper. And um, that's where John honed his skills under the tutorship of Pat Jennings. So, a bit of a conundrum here. Pat Jennings is helping John Lukic improve himself. Um, and again, was this the right way to treat a great goalkeeper of the club? In, I mean, Pat Jennings. So, uh, with the guidance of Pat Jennings, uh, he had now become first choice keeper and had established himself as one of the leading all round goalkeepers in the top flight. As it, I'm talking about John Lukic. Um, now, John was a ma magnificent shot stopper. He was incredible. He was unbelievable in how he could actually get down so quick. Um, and he also had this incredible, um, John had this 
magnificent, prestigious Route 1 gold kicks, which if you guys have ever uh, seen some of the games, at the time we had the great Alan Smith, Smudger Smith, um, who would actually latch onto some of these balls and bing, bang, bosh, you know, it was a goal. And it all came from the way that John Lukic could distribute a ball. I mean, he had some of the longest goal kicks uh, from the six-yard box I've ever seen. I think the only uh, goalkeeper I remember personally that had um, a longer goal kick than him was Man United's Alex Stepney back in the very early 70s, around about 2000. 1977, 75, sorry. Uh, that's how we got Jimmy Rimmer from Man United, who was a backup to Bob Wilson and latterly Pat Jennings. So um, we had a guy here, John Lukic, who was an absolutely incredible, incredible player, in my, in my personal view. Um, he dealt efficiently with most of the majority of crosses, um, although, like most of his contemporaries, um, he experienced the occasional day where nothing, nothing would stick to his gloves. Now, this is a bit of a failure with John. He, he did tend to drop the ball sometimes on high crosses, and it cost us goals. But I'm not going to knock him for that, because every keeper can do that. But sometimes it did happen a little bit too frequently, um, which is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but when it came clear he had no <clears throat> future at Highbury, after the arrival of probably one of Arsenal's greatest ever goalkeepers, David Seaman from QPR in the 89-90 season, um he returned back to Leeds United for one million pounds, having given the Gunners seven years of irreproachable service um, and leaving Arsenal with a huge profit. I mean, we paid 75,000 pounds and we sold him back for a million. Brilliant. Great business. Do Arsenal do that business nowadays, I ask you? Hmm, interesting. Uh, or is it that the way the Arsenal way now, we buy players and we just let them go for nothing? Or we buy them out? <laughs> I mean, you know, different times, I suppose, different times. Um, I mean, the change did him good uh, going back to Ellen Road. Um, where, when he was at Ellen Road originally, he actually saw off a very young David Seaman um, and he showed the best form of his career when he went back. No one at Highbury begrudged his success at Leeds United um, uh, because Leeds United were going for a resurgence. They were coming back. The, the, the Yorkshire team had been in the doldrums for a very, very long time, but they were making a comeback. And... John Lukic went back at the right time and he, and he saw amazing, amazing success there. All right, I didn't win anything, but he probably was at the best time of his career after David Seaman joined and ousted, basically ousted him because George Graham, it was quite clear, he wanted um, George Graham and that, that's understandable. He's an England international goalkeeper, and um, we can see why he wanted him as time went on. But um, we'll get back in the chat. I mean, that's basically John Lukic's uh, career at Arsenal. Um, and I, th I still think I still think he should have got more respect um, and... It is what it is, but um, I still think. I personally, I really liked. I re I rated him. I really rated him, but 
you know, it is how football is. Uh, even Sean, uh, awesome how quick your turnaround to this history video was listened to pre game pre game live, and your notification popped in. Easy shots choice to on who to watch. Thanks, just pleasure, mate. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I love doing the history stuff because I, um, I just find it it's, it's interesting to me. I learn something new. I mean, I do know shout my own trumpet. I do know an awful lot about Arsenal, but I, I learn things. I learn things that I didn't know. I learned stuff about um, when I did Bob Wilson a few weeks back. Um, you know, you always learn something new in history. And that's what it's all about. Unfortunately, I, th I think there's a lot. The trouble is Arsenal uh, don't promote enough about the great history of this club. They don't. And there's a lot of things that a lot of young people um, in their teens could learn about this club, learn about the greatness. Don't learn because they're not interested. All they think about is now. Um, whereas I think when you've grown up seeing your club win, have success, see the greatness, see some of the players we've had, and you can actually experience that then I think you, I think it's it's interesting. It is right, um, but there we go. Uh, Warren says, "I love the tradition, the history of the FA Cup. Absolutely, mate, love it. I absolutely love the FA Cup. And uh, last season when we went out in the most despicable fashion to Nottingham Forest, I I tell you what, that's probably one of the worst displays of football in the FA Cup I've ever seen by Arsenal. I mean." People say, oh, well, when we lost to Wrexham, 1-0, Mickey Thomas goal. Yeah, but at least they tried. I, I don't see what Arsenal tried last season against Nottingham Forest. It was embarrassment. It was embarrassing. Shocking display. Um, and I honestly don't, we, we won't be seeing that tonight. Um, Darren says, Trossard in good play. Yeah, good, man. Uh, Darren, you around next Wednesday. Uh, send me a... Send me a thing on Insta, yeah? Um, Warren uh, says, Martinelli is about to sign a new four-year contract. I'm happy to hear that, man. I like him. I like him. I just want to see Trossard play tonight. That's all. Uh, Gavin O'Flaffley says, I definitely want to see Trossard start. He had a great appearance the other day. Want to see some more of it. Martinelli needs a rest too. I, I agree. I do agree. Uh, Hendon Gunnar need to sort out Casido. As uh, soon as Brighton need time to bring in a replacement for him. Well, that's a very key point. Very key point. If we're going to buy him, then Brighton want to replace him. Um, Gavin says, I hope to Warren. Definitely want my man Martinelli here long term. Absolutely. Hendon Gunnar says, I remember in 79, the team stayed at the Hendon Hotel. And we went down there to see the coach leave on its way to Wembley. Good times. Yeah, they were great days, weren't they? they, they I loved all that. Uh, Warren says, that's right, having breakfast and watching football content on TV. Yeah, that was brilliant. I used to love it. I hardly slept, used to sleep when I was a kid. Um, you know, my early teens. I'd hardly sleep the night before. Seriously. Uh, Darren says, and we really shake them up and we win the FA Cup because Arsenal are the greatest football team. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if we don't get any better than that, it don't get any better than that. No, nope. absolutely true. Um, Darren says, one Johnny Lukic. Yeah, you remember him, man. You there. You were at Highbury. Um Warren's team talk, exactly. Darren Sullivan, yeah, totally agree with you, man. Um, I used to love his wiggle before he took his gold kicks. Yeah, uh, a bit. Uh, would you call that twerking? Don't know. Just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Warren and the little punching acts he used to do with his gold kicks. Yeah, I mean he's a, he he was fun. He was fabulous at gold kicks. That guy. Uh, Toy, hey Jesus. Yeah, love that name, brother. Love it. Uh, Ty, uh, hi Warren. All the guys are in the chat, and um, 
this won't be a particularly long show because unfortunately um there was not a lot really to talk about with john lukic sadly he deserved more respect i think uh drew gunners big up jazz i'm going to one tonight yeah well i'm going i'm actually going three two i am going three two man which uh i hope i'm right but i might be wrong but i'm, I'm confident i was chatting to gracie may on insta earlier and she's very nervous and i don't blame her um away at man city is always going to be a difficult game isn't it um you know um we'll see can't wait though uh gavin says i'm good thanks to you looking forward to the game yeah i'm looking forward to it man but ooh, you know it is what it is uh <clears throat> drew gunner says we only played for leeds and arsenal he's done something at rotherham united john lukic i think he's training the keepers there is he I, um <clears throat> i don't know i don't know that one man i don't know um bar gab thank you my friend thank you very much for the super chat uh very kind of you big up the channel love the history stuff learn something new every time i watch being from the us it's exceptional um sorry not gonna lie it's exceptional um yeah i mean yeah, I, I like doing it mate but, you know I, I, I said they don't get these these don't get massive views um because you know it's it's history stuff and um but i like doing them i enjoy it it's it's my way of sharing partly sharing my experience of the club i think i think that's only fair to say um obviously everybody's got a different aspect of the club how they've seen it how they've lived with it how they've grown up with it um but i like like talking about my times with the club and you know i i think that's only fair um, other people will have other experiences it is what it is um drew gunners 1979 was a great year i was born oh well it was it was a great year you were born and asked a one year FA cup what more could you say drew gunners what more could you say um it's not, that's makes it an iconic year absolutely um Hendon Gunnar says, Drew Gunners, I was 13 years old, going on 14. 79 was one, yeah, one of the best FA Cup finals. Yep. Talked about it the other night. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll tell you what. I remember going to that and coming walking down the Wembley Way and there was loads and loads and loads of Man United and the banter was incredible and the interesting thing is back back in that time it was in the crazy days where you had all the cra crazy crews looking for trouble and all that and it was a beautiful may day um sun was out it was beautiful and i never ever saw one bit of trouble in fact to the point of the fa cups i've been to at the millennium stadium in cardiff Wembley never seen trouble never ever seen trouble um yeah you get the banter and all that that's fair enough but never ever seen any trouble and I I, I think that's brilliant uh, that both teams and sets of fans can go to an FA Cup final <clears throat> and just enjoy it enjoy the banter taking the pee out of each other I ain't got a problem with that. Um, it is what it is. And that's the way it should be. Uh, yeah, I want to see Trotter. I don't think he had long the other day. No, I think, what, 15, 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe, Max? Uh, Tybes says we need an Abu Dhabi-esque midfielder. Um, without the injuries, sadly, that's probably none out there. Yeah. Yeah, I... I Abby Diaby, yeah. Mm -hmm. Drew Gunners, 1979 was a great year. Um, yes, sorry, I've fallen behind here. Um, 
Uh, I agree with you about John Lucas Jez. He was always a really friendly guy too. Yeah, he's a nice guy, wasn't he? He was a nice fella. I just don't think he got the credit he deserved. Um, uh, Gillespie Rose, sorry I'm late. Oh, mate, don't have to apologise to me. <clears throat> Holding starting. No. Luke, are you sure? Oh, my days. Uh, Faye Rodriguez, uh, terrible lineup. I haven't seen it yet. I'll go and have a look in a bit. Oh, my days. Really? Are we... Uh, are we sacrificing the FA Cup? Is that what you guys are telling me? I'll be very, very upset if we are, because there's no need for us to do that. Um, that that's crap. Um, I remember it was a hot and humid day, and there was a thunderstorm around lunchtime before kickoff, and then the sun came out around half time. What an amazing day. David Price getting the first. Yes. Oh, hang on. Lost that. Um Dan Ocker, the disrespect for old Holden is disgusting from my fans. He is a good defender. Mm. Do you think so? Mm. Okay. Persty, I don't think he is. I think we got better, mate. But uh, Sean McGuinness says strong lineup. Oh, I'm getting mid sold misinformation here. Um, Hen and Guna, if it's a crap lineup that I'm going to bother, I'm not going to bother watching. I haven't seen it yet. I will have a look in a minute. Uh, and uh, Gavin says, had to check. I thought you're Friday the 13th reading that from Luca. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Faye Rodriguez says, remember Holding versus Spurs way? It was like a horror movie. Yep, exactly. So this is the team then. Sean McGuinness says, Turner, Tommy Asu, Holding, Gabriel, Tierney, Xhaka, Partey, Vieira, Trossard, Saka, and Ketia. Well, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, I still don't understand, though, in a very, very important game like this, why isn't Ramsdale playing? We're up against one of the greatest teams in Europe, uh, to be fair. So... I always find... I, I, I find that a bit of a mystery... Uh, to be quite true for you. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not dissing Matt Turner because he, he has put a couple of decent shifts in, be fair to him. But we're up against one of the best teams in, in, in Europe. Um, so I'd rather we have our first, t our first choice keeper personally. But it is what it is. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap it up, guys. And... Um, Let's go and enjoy the game. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a major win. Um, to take a scalp in the fourth round, Man City, that's a major situation for Arsenal. Uh, I'm just going to show you this, though, before I go. My wife has made the Arsenal History More channel mug. Um, I might, I might, I don't know, I might cust, uh, pop these on the channel as merch uh, to flog at a cheap price. Obviously, you won't have that on there. You won't have Jez, obviously. My wife can actually customise this to everybody's name. Um, and I'm going to be sending a few of these to a few people I regularly chat with to see what they think. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, that is the load the uh, channel logo and um my wife is very clever at doing this sort of stuff and uh, she does a lot of crafting type of situations and uh um so i'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna have a make i may stick them on there if anybody's interested i don't know um henna goodness says no need to rest players they have eight days to recover good point uh dan oku uh, Sleeve and Gabriel have also made mistakes leading to goals and uh, no one says anything. Holding is the unlikable. I, I don't think he's unlikable, mate. I just don't think he's the levels that we need um, at our club. I'm just saying. I don't... It's not personal. I just think we need to achieve greatness. Um, 
Henry and Goon, cheers, Jez. Have a great evening, all. And to you, my friend, and to you. Uh, Sean McGinnis, very nice. Thank you. I think you mean the mug. Yep. Um, uh, Gavin says, oh, flatly, she's a keeper. Always, Jez. Yeah, my wife is, a ra is amazing. Um, she's going to be doing some, making me a polo shirt with it on as well. Something she's got in her mind. Uh, she's got this equipment that she can do hats, plates, mugs, shirts. Um, cost a bleeding fortune, but it's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, Gillespie Road, the proper crest. Yeah, the proper badge, man. Proper, proper, proper badge. Uh, not the plastic one we've got now. Um, exactly, Gavin. Big up the boy. Um, right, guys. I'm going to bounce. <clears throat> I'm going to go and have my dinner before the game starts. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoy um, the history stuff. And um, smash the likes up. It does really, really help the channel. The more likes you get, the more traction it gets out to more people. And it really helps the channel grow. And if you are new and you haven't subbed, please give us a sub. And um, I always appreciate that. It is uh, great fun to me to do the history stuff. Um, and I also, every Wednesday, I do a podcast. And I like to get new people on. Last week, we had a nice, lovely fellow, Luke James. Really nice guy. Um, uh, he was nervous, fair play. It's not easy to come on here and show your face. Um, and uh, But it is what it is. It's good fun. Next week, I'm on with Kenny Ken, Lee Gunner, maybe Gracie May. I'm not sure. Gracie at the moment is so horrendously busy. We just don't know. But um, we will see how it goes. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll do the outro. Enjoy the game tonight. It's going to be interesting. And I just hope Arsenal can do it. Come on, you gunners. Victoria Concordia Crescent. And uh, take care, everyone. Enjoy. I'm relieved to hear that you've been to some fireplaces. It's hard to carry on when you feel all alone. Now I've swung back down again. It's worse than it was before. If I had seen such riches, I could live.